Phoenix saw the minions of Typhon had cornered the stranger, leaving no escape. This would be her greatest battle yet. Oh, I hope the stranger dies. <laughs> If I had wanted to hurt you, I could just as easily come and stab you back there. True that. So, I'm going to go. Phoenix. Unique name. Appreciate the assistance, Phoenix. Nice bracelets. Thanks. I'm on my way to the Temple of Apollo to see the Oracle. Me too. Ha! It's right over there. Oh, great. I can use all the help I can get. We should go to... Hey, where did you go? My bracers! That rotten little thief! I saved you! I know how you feel, kid. You do everything you can for them, and then they betray you. What's up with that? Who designed that entrance? A circus performer? A magician? I don't know. Aren't mortals wonderful? <sighs> Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Oh, wise oracle, how do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? Wow, that's a real, <laughs> that's a real question. I don't know, it's a mystery. Well, then, how do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah, another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you, the Oracle. Oh, yes. Well, circling that, I'm just the priest. The Oracle here turned to stone, but the smoke here is something else. <laughs> do you think sand is called sand? Because it's between the sea and the land? Uh... Have you seen that little guy with golden hair? No? Uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> What's so funny? You said the go twice, <laughs> but you still haven't left. My brother was turned to stone, and I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me, and all you can do is laugh. Whoa! Those are all true. Are you an oracle? Oh, oh, on your way out. Can you pick me up something? I'm starving! 
Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain huh? crowned with flowing locks is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind heralds aid, go on the attack. And sooner than later, change them all back. A peril of seas, forge fires lit. A wise child convinced, a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown, hero of high, it's time for you to come home. Whoa, now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird how prophecy ends with I see, but in this case I don't? You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No! Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So? We good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. They didn't like my... <sighs> We don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. It's in there? I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with the jar. I... Uh, don't understand. You're in grave danger. Help me help you. Uh, okay. But about what you said earlier... And you're gone. Okay. Well... Got to figure out how to get past that barrier. Before Phoenix seemed daunting, but the light of endless stars helped show the way. Yes, we now know where Cargo goes to die.
As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, her thoughts turned toward her mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Phoenix Ford, couldn't help. A but. huge monster appears! It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughed. So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything she had prayed for to take her mind off her worries. It was a gift from Olympus she would treasure forever. Deep within her vulnerable yet ever expanding. Ah, fine, have it your way. Just don't make me vomit. Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. This was Aeolus's jar. I thought it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This sort of thing can't contain the wind. That's impossible.
Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower, the planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets and... You know what, never mind. wall is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through it. As Phoenix continued her journey, she couldn't help but wonder if her story would one day be told amongst the stars. 
Hermes always says, the stars tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Looks like I'll need to solve this to get to the missing ring piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, not a bad night. <laughs> Welcome to the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again, Icarus. And these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too, all these temples. I can't imagine losing a son like that. What it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar back from Tartaros. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <clears throat> what? I didn't kill Icarus! Daddy lost his faulty wings did that! 
And where is Daedalus now? I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out. Eventually. I thought you said you were preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Hey, not really good as new, but what is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it. What is that? You deceitful thing! You thought you could escape me? Who stole something from nothing? I told you, it's a problem. Tree delivery boy. You do not deserve the crown you were given. We'll take you down, Typhon. Just like before. We? <laughs> there is no we. Not anymore. Phoenix! No! Open your wings! I can't! I have you now! Okay, we need to get to safety. Stat. What was that monster? Typhon. Not the Typhon. Oh, you have no idea. Gotta get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus's wings. The Daedalus, the great inventor. So? So, they didn't work right and killed his son. You'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. You literally robbed me, and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive! How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You are... Hermes, 
I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jod thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that, Hermes disappeared. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to her true destiny lay stretched out before her. Wait! That was just a prologue? How does it take someone that long to begin a story? Odysseus made it home faster. She's about to jump. Be quiet and listen. <laughs>